seen a video like this before, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I, I kind of thought this was a good idea. I hadn't seen anybody do it, so... But I understand that this maybe doesn't make a lot of sense if you're not a part of van life or maybe the people you follow don't have situations like I do. So I just, I wanted to explain some stuff, okay? Okay. I can only see your ears. They can only see your ears. Hi, say hi. Teddy, say hi. Say hi. Hi. So I've been south for the winter, which is very normal for van life. Uh, it's typically pretty warm in the southwestern portion of the United States during the winter, which means that things are just a little bit less miserable in a van. So I've been south for the winter. I was in mostly Arizona and California, a little bit of Nevada, and then I'm going north for the summer. My home base is Utah. Uh, the Greater Salt Lake area, and that works out great because it's a halfway point between North and South. It is actually kind of really cool to have a home base that's in the borderline between North and South because I'm there twice a year. So for example, if you have a home base in Michigan, for example, you'll be in Michigan during the summer, but you won't be there again until next summer. Versus me, where if I plan my route accordingly, I'll be in Utah twice a year when I go down and then when I come back up. So that works out really great and uh, especially because like dentist appointments and thing like, things like that oftentimes are every six months. So um, I just time it usually for April and October that those are the months that I'm gonna be in transit. And so for some more specific examples, so what I did on this trip back to um, my home base area, I have a list here, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I was at the storage unit so I've been living in the van for about two years now and it's shocking how much stuff still needs to come in and out of the van. Um, at this time around, I dropped off snow boots. I wanted to replace my plates because when I moved into the van, I had uh, my houseware plates and I just took two of each and I was like, well, I don't want to lose or break two plates out of this set that I have in the storage unit. So I dropped those off, thrifted some new plates and everything. Um, I replaced a fake plant in my van with a real plant. So the fake plant went in the storage unit. I had a whole bunch of extra tools because the last time I was at my home base, I still had a lot of projects that I was working on. And so I have now finished most of those projects and can drop the tools off and not carry so many tools with me. I do still carry tools with me because there are things that happen in an emergency, uh, things that I would like to be able to fix should the situation arise. So I do keep some tools with me, but just not all of them anymore. I also grabbed a couple of other tools and supplies for other projects. For example, I don't walk around 24 seven with butyl tape in my van. I have butyl tape and I need to reseal some windows. So I grab that in my storage unit and when I get somewhere I wanna do that project, I'll have that. And uh, if I have any leftover afterwards, it'll go back in the storage unit next time I'm around. The last thing for a kind of storage unit thing kind of ties into the mail. So I do get my mail obviously twice a year when I'm in my hometown. Um, I had a lot of stuff in the van that was just cluttering it up. And so I actually mailed myself a box while I was on the road. Um, in California, I mailed myself a priority mail box to my UPS box. And then now that I got back, I had that box and I put that stuff in the storage unit as well. So that is kind of what happened at the storage unit for uh, things exchange. So you can kind of have an idea of like somebody who's really established in the van. Like there's still a lot of stuff that is coming in and out of the van. The other big thing that I did at the storage unit was my closet project, uh, which you can see over the corner. This is a mirror now, and it was an ugly piece of gray board before, and I'm so proud of it. And um, so yeah, that was a project I did because I was at the storage unit, because I didn't want to throw the old closet doors away, I wanted to keep them, which meant that if I wanted to keep them, either they had to hang around in the van until I got back to the storage unit, or I was going to wait and do the project until I was at my storage unit and I could drop my doors. Other things van people do at their home base, um, Things that I did this time around at the home base, a uh, dentist got my, my regular teeth cleaning and my fluoride and everything at the dentist. 
I got a blood draw at my doctor, so I monitor B12 levels. So I made sure to call ahead and make sure that they had that lab ordered so I could just walk in, get the blood draw and be done. So you could check on that. I scheduled a dermatologist appointment this time around, um, which isn't normal for me, but I had a couple of moles I wanted removed and I wanted to talk about, you know, this whole situation that looks really good right now because I'm very far away and have makeup on. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to talk to the dermatologist. Speaking for myself personally, it is just way easier to um, do that when I'm in network for insurance. Like I said, I got my mail. I actually wanted to talk really quickly one other thing about the mail um so amazon if you order things from amazon you can have those delivered to like lockers and that's really great if you know where you're gonna be but <laughs> if you don't know where you're gonna be you're just like i'm gonna send this box of stuff to this locker and hope that i get there in time because you only have three days to pick it up um that hasn't worked out for me some i had I had one order that I had to order three times because the first time it went to a location and I ended up not being able to go that route. And then the second box got there and um, I was not able to pick it up in the amount of time because I still wasn't, the route, route wasn't working out. Um, and so the third time was a charm. I had to order something from Amazon three times. Or the Amazon lockers are really great in theory, but in practice they can be a little bit more difficult than you might think for somebody who lives in a van and who doesn't necessarily know where they're going to be in any given day. So for Amazon things or for even things like there's a lot of stuff that you can't get shipped um to post offices for general delivery which again has the same problems except that you know you can take longer to pick something up from general delivery they they'll keep it for i think two weeks before they send it back um but you can't ship things from fedex or ups to the post office for general delivery you can only do post office stuff to the post office so it can be a little bit tricky to get that delivered somewhere while you're on the road um, so if there's any things like that that are coming up, I just, I always keep a list um, or I'll keep my Amazon cart full of those things and when I know that I'm going to be headed back there, I'll send it to my mailing address and I'm sure that the people at the UPS store know when I'm going to show up soon because all of a sudden there's 40 boxes there. <laughs> um, so they know, oh, Heather must be coming around soon. Of course, if your home um, base is maybe like your hometown or the town where your parents are, you might have friends who you want to visit with. I um, wanted to meet up with some people from work. Didn't end up happening. Um, curse COVID. Anyways, I've been talking a really long time. These are all kind of things that go through my head when I know that I'm getting close to my home base. That's kind of an example of what a home base is, at least for me and how I do van life. There's a lot of different ways people do van life. Um, but this is just how I do things and how the home base kind of thing works out for me. So yeah, I'm going to head out. Not going to be in Utah anymore. Uh, that was it's just a pit stop. I'm on my way north. Hopefully I have some friends in my home state of Washington that I can meet up and hang out with. And I'm going to go see my parents. They're going to see my dog for the first time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for the video. Let me know if this was helpful or interesting at least. Um, otherwise I will see you all in the next video. Bye.